Hello everybody, welcome to my latest video, and as you can see I am playing Life and Death on the Amiga 500. Um, never played it before. Um, I was going to do a live stream, but I've been having a few problems with that, so decided just to do a normal video. Um, didn't realise I had this. Basically, um, just after I moved into my flat, I had some stuff, had some random boxes in my mum's loft, and I brought them over here. And then the other day, I had a little sort out through them, and there was a big box of discs, lots of random discs. And I had a little look through them, and there's quite a few games that I didn't realise I had, and this one was in there. Um, now this isn't mine. I think this is probably one of my school friends' um, games. How I've ended up with it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've never played it before. And I saw a few videos on YouTube, and uh, been wanting to try it. So here we go. This is my video. So life and death. Let's get it going. Hope you're all right. It's currently Christmas Eve. Quarter to twelve. So very nearly Christmas Day. What am I doing? I'm playing this. Animated pixels. It's a good picture. Um, Mindscape International. Is there any sound? Life and death. You are the surgeon. Operating procedures manual. Please use the left mouse button to page through these instructions or press the right mouse button when finished. Oh my word. Warning. Life and death is a game for fun, not education. Nothing that appears in or on the package, manual or the software program is in any way intended to be a statement of representation of fact or of medical opinion application, uh, uh, applicable to any situation other than the playing of the computer game. Mm -hmm. uh, under no circumstances should any person rely upon or be influenced by these materials in making any health related decision. You of course should consult qualified medical personnel whenever you have any questions or problems concerning health or medical matters. Basically, if you're ill, go and see your doctor. Just because you're playing it on a game doesn't mean you can go and then uh, do surgery on yourself. Um, requirements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life and death runs on any. With at least five on two of memory. If you are running on, turn off its own Yeah. Uh, turn We'll figure it out. Moving around the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Signing in. Diagnosing a patient. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Selecting the operating team. to the page. The nurse appears gives you a message that someone has called. It is in your best interest to return the call. Use the beeper that came with your life and death package to determine the number where they can be reached. Ah. Surgery. Oh my goodness. When you first start surgery, 
the mouse icon will be in the shape of a hand. <clears throat> Click on the instrument to pick up, uh, pick it up. Use the tip of the finger to point to what you want to pick up. The icon will change to a representation of the instrument you are currently holding. To put an instrument down, click anywhere on the operating tray to use the instrument. Move the icon to the appropriate place and click. Some, um, we'll get there, we'll figure it out. When removing forceps from the patient's body, line up the tip of the hand with the forceps handle. To retract a, to retract a tissue layer, pick up the retractor and click near the incision. To close the tissue layer, click the right mouse button to the layer of, to be closed. Yeah. Okay. Basically, just don't kill anybody. What's the worst gonna happen? It's Christmas Eve! Yeah? What's the worst gonna happen? Do you wish to use a previous save position? No. I haven't played it before. Life and death, you are the surgeon. Be afraid. Be very afraid. What's the worst gonna happen? <laughs> Okay, here we are. Good morning, Doctor. We, uh, won't you please sign in? What if I do? Doctor Morgan. Nice to meet you, Jamie Morgan. Welcome aboard. We are waiting for you at the medical school. I'm guessing there. All right. Welcome to Tool Works General Hospital. You are currently in the classroom. Whenever the chief of surgery feels that you need schooling, you will be instructed to come here. When you have finished reading the blackboard, click on the board. The instructor will then put up the next lesson. Blackboards. I don't think anyone uses them anymore. Certainly schools don't. If you need to reread a lesson, click your mouse at the very top of the blackboard. While making your rounds at Tall Works General, use the mouse to enter and exit rooms by clicking on the doors. To leave the hospital, exit through the door at the far end of the hall. Uh, while you are in the hospital, you may request the hospital policies and guidelines clipboard by clicking on an intercom. Use the clipboard to set some perimeters. You may not request the clipboard during surgery. To exit the classroom, click on the door behind the instructor with one mouse pointer. This includes this concludes class for now. Thank you for attending. No problem. Is there any sound at all? There is a patient in room 4, that's the second door on the right. So that's the intercom. General guidelines and policies. Wet hours in effect. Patients may speak. Nightmare mode is active. Novice level. Definitely novice, I think. Wet hours in effect. What does that mean? Okay, there is a patient in room four, that's the second door on the right. Second door on the right. Hello there. And how are you today? Okay, patient is a 47 year old male. The patient is complaining of flu-like symptoms including nausea, generalized weakness and dizziness. Abdominal pain is also present. Observe, medicate, operate, x-ray, ultrascan, 
and refer, I assume. Right. Um, I've watched the video briefly before, and I, you're supposed to check them over. Okay. Okay. No problems there. No problems there. No pain there. I feel pain, Doctor. I'm not going any lower than that. That does not hurt. Great. Okay. Right, so he... There's pain in this region here. Here. Okay. Alright. Um... I think what's in that region. Okay. Um... Observe, medicate, operate, x-ray, ultra scan, with, uh, abdominal pain is also present. Dizziness, weakness. Medicate, I guess. We'll go for medicate. Initial. Loading. Oh. I've killed him. Alright. Alright. Um, okay, I've just killed my first patient. <laughs> your diagnosis... Your diagnosis and recommended treatment was incorrect and you have been taken off the case. Because he's dead. Report to medical school on the double. Uh, am I going to be sacked? Oh dear. Class is about to start in med school. They are waiting. Oh dear. In your last case, your physical examination of the adult adaptomen was incomplete. You must be sure to palpate all the four quadrants of the abdomen, including the sides of the lower abdomen and the navel area for the examination to be effective. Don't kill him. Mm -hmm. to, start an ex to start an examination, use your mouse to click on the patient's body. You will then be presented with the patient's abdomen. Lovely. At this time, you may palpate and a particular region of the abdomen by clicking on it with your mouse. The patient will respond or die. Note the patient's responses uh, to click on the covers. To end, click on the covers. Uh, in your last case, your examination of the abdomen revealed that the patient was experiencing pain on both sides of the lower abdomen, even though the appendix is on the right side. Some appendicitis patients will experience pain on both sides during an examination. An x-ray is required in these cases. We're a bit late for that, he's dead. Um, your, your examination of the last patient's x-ray should have revealed the presence of kidney stones in the left kidney. Um, so yeah, that patient died of kidney stones. Uh, kidney stones will appear on the x-ray just above either or both sides of the pelvis. Since urology is not your speciality or keeping people alive, referrals are inappropriate in these situations. This concludes class for now. Thank you for attending. Uh -huh. You have a patient in room one. That's the second room on the left. I probably shouldn't tell him what I've just done. Fine, he's in safe hands. What's the worst can happen? Hello there. Okay, um, patient is a 35 year old female. Same age as me. The patient was admitted complaining of pain and discomfort in the mid abdominal region. Observe, medicate, operate, x-ray, ultrascan, fur. Okay. Right, 
Okay, let's try it again. That does not hurt. Fine, okay, great, good. No pain there, okay, fine. No problems there, no pain there. That feels good. Okay, that feels good. No problems there, okay. That does not hurt. No pain there. No pain at all. Double check that. I didn't find anything. Fine. Good. Oh, it's midnight. It is now officially Christmas Day. And what am I doing? Checking someone's abdomen. And I can't find anything. Good. Great. Okay. Good. Okay. Great. Well, there's no pain. There's no pain at all. Um, okay. So, refer. Refer. Your conclusions and recommendations were not correct. Please report to medical school. Ooh. Well, this isn't a killer this time. Jasper, what are you doing? The cat is having a bit of a funny five minutes. In your last case, the examination of the abdomen revealed that the patient was not suffering from acute abdominal pain. Well, no. Further observation of the patient in indicated as the usual cause of trans transience, abdominal pain is intestinal gas. This concludes class for now. Thank you for attending. Well, this has been killer. That's only one bonus. This has got gas. You have one. You have a patient in room one. That's the second door uh, room on the left. He needs a shave. Sweaty man. The patient is a 41-year-old male. The patient is complaining of flu-like symptoms including nausea, generalised weakness and dizziness. Drunk. Abdomen pain is also present. Uh -huh. That does not hurt. Good, good, good. No problems there. That feels good. That feels good. That feels good. Fine. Good. No problems there. Fine. Good. That feels good. No problems there. I'm not going any lower than that. That feels good. That feels good. No problems there. Great. Okay, so there's no pain. Uh, what did that other one say? It's not refer. Um, observe. There's no need to operate, there's no need to do an x-ray. Observe. Now it is officially midnight. Ha. Congratulations, the patient was suffering from intent Intent, intensity, intestinal gas. Your recommendation to keep the patient for observing was appropriate. Good. So I can cure. I can cure people with gas. I just can't cure people with stones. Or whatever it was. Oh, Dr. Naylor called you from radiology on line one. Uh, Dr. Naylor called radiology on line one. Okay. Um, Uh, 
At the first show, the time sponsored by Accurate Ball will be... We have a patient in room two. That's the third door on your left. It's Mr. Beardy Man again. The patient is a 41 year old male. The patient is complaining of flu like symptoms including nausea, generalized weakness, and dizziness. Abdominal pain is also present. Good. Okay. Okay, we have pain here. I feel pain, Doctor. Good. Good that he's got pain. No problems here. Okay, so it's on that side. No, that side. There. Right. So his his right. Yes, his right, not my right. Okay. How about an X ray? X-ray. And this. So it was here. Now to me, that doesn't really tell me a lot. That's not the best picture. It's here. Okay. Um, observe, medicate, operate, x-ray, ultra scan, refer. I'm going to, I'm going to medicate. Oh no! It was killed another one! died on Christmas Day! Your diagnosis and recommended treatment was incorrect and you have been taken off the case. Report to medical school on the double. Sorry! Boss is about to start at the med school. They're waiting. Oh dear. <coughs> when the nurse tells you that you have received a phone call, it is, it is considered poor protocol not to return the call. You may use the phone at the front desk. Your beeper should tell you the correct extension to call. I didn't know. Your examination of the last patient's x-ray should have revealed the presence of kidney stones in the left kidney. Probably did, but I couldn't see it. Kidney stones will appear on the x ray just above either or both sides of the pelvis. Since urology is not your speciality, referrals are appropriate in these situations. It's a bit late because I've just killed another one. This concludes class for now. Thank you for attending. How the hell have I still got a job? I've killed two people in one day. There is a patient in room four. That's the second door on your right. He's in safe hands now. <sighs> patient is a 59 year old female. The patient was admitted complaining of acute abdominal pain, generalized weakness and dizziness. You really want me to check you over? After my history? Whoa, cat, come on, down. My God. Do you want to go out? I think someone wants to go out. Crazy cat. Happy Christmas, Jasper.
No fights. Don't get into any traps. Okay, no pain there. Good. I feel pain, Doctor. Quite near the belly button. That does not hurt. Fine. That feels good. So what's here? That's appendix area, isn't it? That's the appendix. I'm sure that's the appendix area. Acute abdominal pain. I'm going to do an X and X ray. Uh, oh, turn it on, that might help. Here. Uh, what do I do? How do, what do I have to do here? It's sort of here. I can't see anything. Medicate for Medicate. I think I've just killed another one. Oh my god. Okay. I've just killed three people in one day. Your diagnosis to recommend treatment was incorrect, and you have been taken off the case. Report to medical school on the double. Yeah. In your last case, your physical examination of the abdomen was incomplete. You must be sure to palpate all four quadrants of the abdomen, including the sides of the lower abdomen and the navel area, for the examination to be effective. To start an examination, use your mouse to click on the patient's body. Yeah, I know all that. Your, exa your examination of the last patient's x-ray should have revealed the presence of kidney stones in the left kidney. I couldn't see it. We well, wanted I. Kidney stones will appear on the X-ray just above either or both sides of the pelvis. Since urology is not your speciality, refer referrals are appropriate in these situations. Um, I'm gonna try one more. Um, thank you for attending. It's Christmas Day and I've killed three people. There is a patient in room four. That's the second door on the right. Hello, mate. What's wrong with you? Patient is a 25-year-old male. The patient is complaining of flu-like symptoms including nausea, generalised weakness and dizziness. Abdominal pain is also present. So, very, very similar. So, technically, I should know what to do. But, um, that's not, that does not hurt. Okay, it's near his lower belly button area. Oh, and there. Okay, so here. Okay, this whole bottom section. So right along here. That's like intestine, isn't it? Yikes! That feels good. Feels really good. Right. I'm going to do an x-ray. It was this whole entire section here. But again, I can't see anything. Um, I, I just don't know. Uh, it's, hmm. Um, observe, medicate, refer. 
Right. Let's let the, let's let the coin decide, right? Okay. Medicate is going to be heads. Refer is going to be tails. Do that again. Heads for medicate, tails for refer. Heads, medicate. That didn't work either. You killed that patient! <laughs> okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I've killed four people on Christmas Day. Um, not a good... Uh, well, I think I will stick with the job I do it, uh, every day. Uh, I don't think I'll be being... I don't think I'll be a doctor anytime soon. Um, because I keep killing people. Um, anyway, that was my first a try at this game. It's not, um, it's not like, it hasn't got a lot of action. Um, it, it's quite, it's quite difficult. Um, I mean, I'm sure practice will get, you know, the more you practice, the better you get at it. Um, Yeah, I'm struggling, but uh, I'll, I'll, anyway, that was that was my first ever tour I try, and you know, I only I only killed four people. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like it, then give us a thumbs up. Uh, anything you want to say, then put put a comment on. Um, if you have played this game before and you know how to play it, then then put a little comment down the bottom and please tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because um, I don't want to heal the people, especially on Christmas Day, you know? So, um, yeah. Alright, cheers guys. Um, take it easy and see you soon. Adios.